thank you all for being here. Having received a tremendous amount of encouragement to run for the United States Senate from Georgians all across our great state, it's an honor to formally announce my candidacy today here in Atlanta uh, and earlier this morning in Augusta because the foundations of my lifelong commitment to serve Georgians were laid primarily within these two communities. Uh, I was born and raised in Augusta, and it was there that my mother and father taught me to have a strong faith in God, a reverence for family, and an unbending respect for traditional conservative Georgia values. Upon graduating from St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Augusta, I earned my undergraduate degree right here, right here behind me uh, at Georgia Tech, where I learned the importance of higher education before going back home to earn my medical degree at the Medical College of Georgia. And it was during these formative years spent in Augusta and Atlanta where I developed a heart to serve expectant mothers and their babies from conception to birth and the primary health care of women. A heart to serve those in need, indeed a heart to serve all Georgians. These two communities and institutions of learning reinforce the values my parents taught me, that compassion and selflessness give substance to a life of service to others. They are the values that enrich the community. They are the practices that have continued to reward me in my life of service. So I began this path as a medical student. My subsequent career as an OBGYN doctor fulfill that desire to serve, but it also afforded me a unique perspective on life itself. Delivering 5,200 babies in my career as a doctor, I came to many important realizations that forever called my heart to service to other people. For example, other than the mother and the father, no one sees firsthand how precious that moment is than the doctor who's responsible for that baby's safe arrival. Mothers carry their babies with the utmost medical care, and when the time comes for delivery, the mother and father, they entrust that doctor with the safety of their child. They entrust that doctor with the health of their child. Indeed, they entrust that doctor with the very life of their child. And this trust is one of the strongest exchanges of any human interaction. And that trust, that faith, is bestowed upon doctors for one reason and one reason alone, because we have committed ourselves to a life of service. This trust, however, is also reciprocal. Once we as doctors are entrusted with the well-being of our patients and their children, it's our duty to take action, to be selfless, and to fulfill our obligation of service to them. I do so willingly, and it brought me great joy throughout my professional career. However, I always had a desire to do something more, and it was for that reason my path of service above and beyond my profession led me to the Marietta City School Board, where I was able to serve the very children that I helped bring into the world. And still, I felt there was more work to be done. So I was led to serve in the State Senate, where I championed pro-life, conservative values on behalf of the people of Georgia. And I worked tirelessly to protect the lives of children by strengthening teen driving laws. And still, I felt called to do more. So I was led to serve in the United States Congress and the House of Representatives, where I worked hard over ever since then. Uh, 11 years ago to uphold my oath to our Constitution and I have faithfully championed our conservative Georgia values. I fought to protect the lives, the unborn right to life. I have defended Georgia's rights to keep and bear arms as guaranteed by our Second Amendment and battled those who would grant amnesty to illegal aliens. And still yet, I feel called to do even more. In the wake of United States Senator Saxby Chambliss' decision to not seek re-election in 2014, in my decision process, I redoubled my efforts to rely upon the techniques and skills on which doctors depend to listen, to diagnose, 
and then take action. Georgians are telling me they are frustrated and look, they don't have the time and quite frankly the stomach for politics as usual. Each and every day they are faced with the tremendous responsibility of having families to feed, bills to pay, children to prepare for a lifetime of opportunity. Yet most of the folks to whom I listen are concerned for their future. Too many of them know someone who's out of work. They maybe have lost their own job or they fear any day that they might. And they are increasingly believed that the opportunity for a better life for their children is slowly and surely slipping away. The opportunity thieves are President Barack Obama and this liberal, reckless government spending and job-killing policies, along with Democratic Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, who's using his power to turn the United States Senate into a rubber stamp for the president's liberal agenda. Much like medical patients entrust their health and their well-being to doctors, citizens entrust the health and well-being of their states and their nation to we elected officials. Yet President Obama and Harry Reid have answered the people's trust with a combination of ineptitude and inaction. Under President Obama, the national debt has exploded in less than five years by six trillion dollars. Six trillion dollars more worth of job-killing debt, the price for which our children and our grandchildren will be forced to bear for years to come. And during Harry Reid's reign, the United States Senate has failed to make good on the citizens' investment of trust, failed to pass a budget in four years until finally last week, failed to respond to the threat that President Obama's reckless, wasteful spending and ever-increasing national debt posed to the health and well-being of this nation. And more specifically, fail to respond to the threat that this crushing debt poses to the health, well-being, and opportunities of our children and our grandchildren, most of whom are standing behind me at this podium today. But we are Georgians, we are Americans, and we are often at our finest when our back is to the proverbial wall. So I've decided it is time to act. It's time for Georgians to again send a tested, trusted conservative to the United States Senate who will work with Johnny Isaacson and with a sense of urgency to reward the trust Georgians placed in him with action and results immediately. Our mandate, our mandate, eliminate wasteful spending, cut the debt, stimulate the economy, and spur the private sector to create jobs upon which our families depend. To this end, I will fight each and every day of my time in the United States Senate to drastically cut and cap spending, to repeal, yes, a, a vote again to repeal and replace Obamacare to see that we enact a balanced budget amendment to this Constitution, eliminate onerous federal regulation that breaks the backs and crushes the spirit of too many small business owners, men and women. And with your help, I will be the Senator who takes the oath I swear to the Constitution just as seriously as the Hippocratic oath that I took to do no harm to my patients and the vow I made in marriage to my wife, Billy, 43 years ago. I will be a senator who is driven to faithfully serve Georgians across this great state with a sense of urgency. I will be a senator who is consumed in everything I do by a moral obligation to provide our children and our grandchildren with even more opportunities than our parents and grandparents fought and sacrifice for us. I have been blessed in, in so, so many ways. 
a wonderful set of parents, two great brothers, my loving wife, four successful children, all of whom are here today with me, and thank God, all of whom are raising our 13 precious grandchildren right here in the state of Georgia. So too have I been blessed with the opportunity to have helped bring those 5,200 babies safely into this world. A trust bestowed upon me by those mothers and fathers, by which I will always be honored. So it is, for, it is for my family, and it is for the families of those 5,200 babies, and every Georgian, every single Georgian, that I pledge to give all there is of myself in service to them, to the state of Georgia, and to this nation. Thank you all very much, and I'll be happy to take now a couple of questions.